I figured it out. I got it. I got the solution to the keys. Let's go. No introduction needed. I haven't played yet past what we did before, but I figured I would just start here because I'm gonna probably do stuff in a different order. Um, so, map. Okay, let's go to the restroom first since it's right here. Yeah, let's do that. So excited to show you. So what I had to do, I, I didn't completely figure it out by myself, but what I basically did is I looked up uh, the solution and then reverse engineered it because I was not going to figure this out by myself. I can pretend that I'm smart all day, but sometimes I just don't get things. And then I see the solution and I'm like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Why didn't I think of that? But here we are. I'm excited to show you guys though. I bet some other people were also like, what? And then you're gonna see the solution and you're gonna be like, oh, I feel so much better now, now that I know. Maybe it's just me, but I feel a lot better knowing a solution. So there's one here. I have to kill him again, fuck. That should be okay. I think I did it well last time. Run! <laughs> oh! He's gonna spit. Oh, I forgot. Forget that he spits. Shit. Fuck. I get hit so often. She doesn't auto-aim correctly. Half the time. That should not hit me! Excuse me? Aim at him! Okay, I am gonna have to reload the save. I'm gonna redo that. We'll be right back. Eat shit, motherfucker! I missed. Oh, no I didn't. Okay, good. Is he dead? Now he is. There we go, much better. So, the hint was if you have all these pieces of a vase, if you fit them together, they're a vase. So I actually was talking, like when I was theorizing about what the solution was before, I was actually right. Those two triangles do form a square. So the first one is a square. Then the second one, I think, like, if these are the two halves and you put them together like that, then it's a hexagon? Six sides. So... That is this one. And then the last one is a little bit tricky, but I think that is the one with five sides. I think that has to be this one. If I see it correctly. Let's try that. Yes! So that's one done. Good. Now what's in this restroom? Oh god, darkness. Shotgun shells. Thank you very much. Oh, a new VHS tape. Chapel. Oh. What? Entrails all over the floor. It smells awful. Are they from some kind of animal? I think that was it. So we got a VHS tape. Interesting. Okay, that was this little bit. Um, let's see. What's the next one we should do? There's the one in the pharmacy. Now this hint, this one really confused me, but I think it's humans are from Earth, so Earth is a circle. Aliens are from outer space, so it's a star. Then these two, I don't think the hint is very helpful, but the pharaohs have their pyramids, so triangles. Bees have their honey, which is hexagons. I think that's the solution. I think that's what um, 
it means. Why that is the solution, I mean. So stars, pyramids, and honeycombs. I think that's it. I figured it out. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't been here, have I? I don't think so. 1971. Maria has lost another child. This is the third. I do not know how I find the strength to not falter, but I must be strong for both of us. Maria's condition worsens by the day. Her body may be damaged, but it is her mind that worries me most. She says not a word, and her eyes have stopped reacting when exposed to light. Oh, shit. She no longer recognizes me and startles when I try to draw close. Oftentimes, she is so disoriented that she screams and breaks everything in her path. I can stop her only with an injection. I know that Maria, my Maria, is somewhere inside that damaged body. She worsens. Today I witnessed an awful sight as I entered her room. She stood in a pool of blood, lashing her own back with a whip. I grabbed her by the wrists, but she fought back while screaming at the top of her lungs. I called in a paramedic to help me sedate her and put stitches across her entire back. How could she do this to herself? What goes, goes on inside her head? At least tonight she will sleep soundly. By God, what have I done? Maria, will you ever forgive me? So, I I played, there was too, mu too much time between the first part and this part, or first and then now the second and third, I'm playing it more often, but. So what's the story so far? They wanted Maria to have kids. So they performed a bunch of tests tests on her and but then she had three miscarriages and she got worse and worse every time. Entrails have been placed on weighing scales. What is that? High power charge. Can be used with an electric lance. Oh, it's ammo for the electric gun that we saw. Battery? Is it charged? Battery for the library. That elevator thing. Um, old car battery. I don't think it says anything about the charge, but we'll see if there's any charge in it left. Okay, so that was this room. Stuff is opening up now properly. Um, we have to go to the archives again. The restroom we've done. And then we have to do the intensive care corridor again as well. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is unlock the doors and then save. Let's go to the west wing. Okay, this is the one I figured out. Square, triangle, star. I think I... how many shotgun shells do I have now? Only 10. Hmm, 11 total. Still not that much. Because I, I was... I'm wondering if I... if I'll hit a point where I can, like, use that more liberally. I still don't know how to combine these. What's that one? And then we gotta go upstairs. This is the one that I still haven't really figured out. Like, I get the hexagon and I get the oop, triangle. 
But then the eight and the rotation of the numbers, I don't really get. Okay. I think that does it. I think that unlocks all of them. Um, so those two we figured out, and then that one was the one with the aliens. And then this one was the one with the where the broken vase where you put them together. Yeah, so we've unlocked all of them now. Um, so let's save that. And for the sake of our health, I think I want to... So now all the doors are done. I think that's good. Oh, no. Episode 3. Okay, so story-wise nothing happens because she had nothing to talk about. But at least that's the keys done, so that's good. I think that's good. So we have a tape and we have a battery. I think I'm gonna go to the library first because that's the thing I'm most curious about. It's crazy to me that the most common enemy, which is the little guy that walks around on his hands and these spits, that's like the one that's giving me the most trouble. Um. Yeah, straight through. Okay. So here. Does it work? Is there like a power button? There's no power. Do I need to charge this? Well, let's watch the VHS then. Uh, actually, I can just go through the library. Uh, spit this one out. Give that one to me. And then watch this one. Chapel, 94. Oh, this before it was broken. <gasps> Ooh, interesting. Hey, there's the dude. I forgot, we need to treat his arm. Father, what happened to the Statue of Christ? Did you fix it yourself? Oh, hello, child. Welcome to this humble house of our Lord. I'm the town priest. It's a pleasure to meet you. What is your name? So is this why he thought that he met us before? What is it? Did I say something wrong? No, no, not at all. I am Caroline, Caroline Walker. A beautiful name. Were you saying something about our Lord's statue? The last time I was here, it was scattered around the floor, in pieces. God forbid it, my child. This statue has been here for over a hundred years. Mm. We take great care of it. It has never been damaged. And let's hope it remains in here like that for many more years. So, do we want to break it down? I wonder why it breaks. What is our purpose here? This is all conveniently blocked off. Even this is blocked off. Oh, but this isn't. Okay, nothing here. Ooh, this opens. Closet. <gasps> this is where you can charge the battery. It will take several days to charge. Oh. 
Oh, awesome. Cool, 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 cool. So it was empty. What's in this one? Kitchen. I love how when we enter the room, it sounds like a... A tape is like... Oh. Huh. Do we want to freeze something here? Hmm. You can hear a tape wearing up when we enter here. Which is really interesting. So there's something with that freezer too. Something... What would we need to freeze? What would need to be cold? Like I get defrosting something, but... Hmm. Well, at least now we have the battery. Um, so... Let's go back. What a cool mechanic. Really cool. Uh, okay, how do I get to the closet now? <laughs> this is Resident Evil all over again. It's like, oh fuck, how do I get to this thing now? This does really give me that kick though. That... Um, Resident Evil kick. It's so fun. Okay, so the closet is down here. Battery. Oh, it's charged now. That's where it says it. Fully charged. Nice. Oh, there must be a monster in the next room. That's what you can hear. Okay. Um, back to the library. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. This is really one of those games where I could find myself listening to the soundtrack after I finish playing it. It's a. I think that's my favorite part about this game so far. Is the music is. Like, so spot on. Such a good mood setter. Now let's see what horrors await us upstairs. Ah, now it's powered. Okay, I think I'm gonna go shotgun for now. Oh. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. She's gonna kill me. Are you dead? Yeah, reload. Oh, there's another one. Fuck you. Are you dead? Oh, they're dead. Oh, lucky. Okay, what do we got? Nails? Save. Chess. Oh, that's one of those things that was uh, for in the basement. Bottom of the stairs in the main hall. But other than that, I don't see anything. Nope, I think that's it. Should we take the battery? Oh. Do you think my inventory can get full? I don't think so. I think I can scroll. Maybe I should just take it. Just in case. 
Okay, so this thing. Metal disc with a handle. Dials are adjustable. Ah. Okay. Should we try and use that? Check it out at least. Okay, I saw this thing here. So, okay, so the little pin is here, and then one on it, and then one to the. Okay, Let's see if I can figure this out. So this one needs to turn like that. Or the other way, actually. Like this. Oh, it doesn't fit. Okay. Um, so then the three point to that. So like that. And then two point to that. Like so. And then the last one Is a bit tricky, like opposite to two. Okay. Opposite to two, so like so. Yeah. So that's one of them. Okay. I think. I think there's two more things to it. I think we need another dial and some kind of card, ID card, or <gasps> the floppy from the computer. Ew, okay. Gotcha. Okay. So we got one step closer. I wonder if that main door is like, this leads to like a whole new section of the game. Okay, what's the next thing we're gonna do? I did the whole thing with the basement, right? I think so. I think we should probably just go to the second west wing floor. Int intensive care there that we haven't redone yet. Maybe I should try and kill the enemies there and then save. That might be a good one. I didn't have much trouble killing them. And I think I still have a first aid kit, yeah. Yes! That's how it's done! Okay, now the other one. Do I need to reload? Ooh, I don't know. Yes! Whoa! How did I get up there? <laughs> okay, this is perfect. I did really good here. saves. Can I save somewhere here? I can save across. I'm only saying because I died here before. I don't remember if there were enemies in here. Let's find out. Oh yeah. Here he is with his Father, arm missing. What? You're in He's lost. Okay. So we need to find him like a first aid kit or something. Well, not the ones that I use, but something else. Uh, okay. Check the next door. Right, there was this mirror too.
We haven't even checked this mirror. Okay. I think I'll check out the rest of this corridor again. And then save, and then try the mirror. This is a weird room. There's not much to it. I think that's what I did last time. <laughs> I like found the mirror and I was like, let's look around more first. Um, right? Any candles I can light? Oh, I don't like this. Oh yeah, this was the limbs. Don't see anything else here. Okay. Room 2D. Oh yeah, this thing. Right. Okay. think so. Was that it? Was I trying to check out this back room and then I died? I died fighting one of these, didn't I? Oh, I can't go there? Oh, shit. Well then. How the fuck am I gonna get behind those bars then? Priest is gonna be fine, right? He can wait another couple hours until I find him something to treat his arm with. <laughs> okay, progress. This is today, right? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> Good. Progress. Okay. This game is no joke. It's hard. Let's go check out the creepy mirror. Okay. We have two doors from here. Let's check back first. Oh, what are you? Holy shit. Ooh, coffin. No way I'm looking inside. Oh, oh. Hey, it's the dude! Hmm. So he needs a new mannequin arm? Do you think that'll treat him? I'm just going in random directions. Please, noise a noise. <laughs> Thank you. I would very much appreciate more and more of these. Oh, there's the monkey. Oh god, he's like tied up at the guillotine. Oh, that works. Oh. Scroll. Decorative metal casing. The monkey thief. 
The judge read the sentence aloud in an unwavering voice, his fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. The defense attorney seemed hypnotized by the angry movements of the judge's lips. The accused mother wrote in capital letters, frantically on a slip of paper that she lifted over her head in desperation. The gavel hit, its victim resigned. And so the cold blade inevitably fell onto the innocent neck. Nothing else. So maybe we can use that on the other, the actual monkey thing. Thank you, God. Ugh. Hi. A hammer. Where the fuck am I? Am I in the closet? Everything opens. Oh. Wait, this is where I came from. So... This door is new. And the other door is new. Oh god. Oh god. Get the big guns, quick. Did I hit him? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, it's one of these. Quick! Fuck you, dude. <sighs> okay, what's this? Cool, I got a mannequin arm. Oh. Hi, dude. Body is hanging by a makeshift noose. Full of various medicines. You don't want him? Okay. Light. Okay. Don't like the sound of that. Oh, it's just you. But it's dark here, though, so I can't fight him. I should check out that closet door. God, this is so stressful. <laughs> check out this one. Oh, this isn't an actual door? Oh. Never mind, then. Go back to the mannequin boy. Fix up his arm. There's also another... Oh, this is it. Oh, could I, have could I have opened that? Shit. I'll have to check that later. I'm sure I'll be back there. Mannequin boy! I got you an arm! Do you like it? Still space between the pieces. Hmm. You wanna hammer it in? Okay, well, let's... Oh, I see. Okay, I need to tape it on it or something. Um, let me just see if I can open that fence. That fence. The gate. The iron gate. And then we can go back and do the monkey business? Maybe, although it seems like we would need another dial for that. Another piece. I could be wrong. Let me check if I can open this gate. Can. Okay, that's much easier now. How do we turn the light on in here? Oh. And did I go to this other door? 
Locked from the other side. I see. Okay, that makes sense. That's the room I want to get to, but the dude's on the wall. And I can't hit him in the dark, right? Hmm. Okay. Ah, peace. Let's see. Monkey business. Here it is. So this fits up here. Hmm. A judge's block. Definitely fits here. But I feel like I'm missing another piece, right? But there's no button for it. See no evil, hear no evil, no head. That must be the end. Hmm. Yeah, fell onto the innocent's- the cold blade fell onto the innocent's neck. That's the last one for sure. The gavel hit- oh! Oh, maybe the hammer! The accused mothers wrote in capital letters frantically on a slip of paper. She lifted over her head in desperation. Okay. Lifted over her head, hypnotized by a judge's lips, and read the sentence aloud, fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. Oh, they can only turn if this is in the place. Well, if it moved over the bump of the paper, maybe he's blind and he's reading... Uh, what's it called again? Fuck, I always know the word for it. Like reading, like how blind people read the dots on paper. So maybe he's blind. And then one dude was hypnotized, right? Oh, he was looking at the... I, oh, maybe he's deaf and he's looking, he's lip reading. Okay. Uh, fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that cover the surface. Yeah, so he's blind. Defense attorney seemed hypnotized by the angry movement. So he's deaf and he's lip reading. And then the mother can't speak, so she lifts it over her head what she writes down. So see, she's covering her mouth. Okay. So like that. And then use the hammer. <laughs> oh my god, I figured it out! A staple gun. Power is adjustable. Why would I need to staple something? Well then. Hmm. I don't remember doing anything with paper. But holy shit, I figured it out. Happy with that. <sighs> What's next? Need to get past that dude in the hellish version. Who's on the wall. But as long as it's dark in there, we can't do anything. Oh, do you think we can staple on the arm? If it's 
if the power is adjustable. Maybe? Okay. That should do it. I put the dial on. Yeah! Okay, let's see if that helped him up. Uh, patched him up. I can't believe I actually thought of that. Surprising myself today. Just put the bar really low and you'll be impressed. Oh. Father, are you okay? Surgery. Carolyn, my child. That thing has stolen my Bible. Who cares about a book? Stay there, father. Right now, it's vital that you keep calm. Yes, you're right. I don't know how I'll be able to thank you for taking care of my arm, my child. What are you talking about, father? It wasn't me. I mean, you, what did you just do then? But I saw you. Oh, uh, you are right. I'm getting confused. Now that I think about it, it was Dr. William who treated my arm. <laughs> Dr. William, the Wildberger twin's father. Is he in the mansion? I had no idea Dr. William had daughters. Where can I find him? He's usually in his office. You'll probably find him there. I'll go find him. He might be able to give me some answers. Take this. I'm sure it'll be more useful to you than Thank me. Thank you, Father. I'm sure this will be of help. God, God be with you, child. Electrical lamp with a power switch. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, that's so fucking useful. Oh! Oh my god, okay. Let's beat up the dude. Someone has to get ready for a smacking! I'm ready. Oh my god, flashlight. Fuck yeah! Holy shit. Please don't tell me it works on batteries. There we go. I feel a little bad doing it like this. Okay. Fuck off, dude. Oh god, it's just him. <sighs> okay, maybe I should try that. Shoot them with a shotgun. And then, once they're down, hit them with the nails. That way I'll only use one shot at a time. Oh, bless this flashlight! Hello? Who is it? Anyone here? Well, I think that's it. But that just leads back to where I was, right? Yeah, it leads back to the bathroom. So what did I get out of this? I don't know. Weird. Yeah, now I'm back here. Does that even give me anything? At least now I can fight in the dark, I guess. So, they want me to get to an office? Office? Oh, right! Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was like a creature in the dark that I couldn't get past. Because I couldn't light anything, I think. In that corridor. So, let's go there. 
Maybe save? Don't know when I saved. Could also try and kill that one creature, but honestly, I don't think I need to be in that room, so... As long as I keep going around it, I don't really want to waste the ammo. Unless there's a really important item in there that I keep missing now. Oh! Jesus! What are you doing here? Are you stuck? That would be great. Okay, there's another one somewhere. Where is it? Is he downstairs? I'll deal with that later. Wait. Oh. That was like a glint on that teapot. Okay. So somewhere here in the dark, I think. It was a dude that I couldn't get past. Although... This is the office, isn't it? Locked from the other side. Oh, through the bedroom? Can't open it. No disc. I need to find a disc. The warehouse has the disc reader, but I haven't found the disc yet. Then the kitchen had something we could freeze if we wanted to. Something tore off one of the priest's arms. Thankfully, the doctor, William, surgically replaced it with a new one. I didn't even realize a procedure like that was possible. A new arm. I also discovered that William is the father of the twins in the photo. I should go to his office to see if he can give me some useful information. <laughs> I don't know why she's in denial about what she did in the other dimension. She already revived the body by walking around it a couple times. So she knows she has like special powers. Um, I had to look up where to go next. Um, but it turns out that that gate that I opened actually opened something on this side. So I should definitely... You know what? Let's- we just saved. Let's face our fears. We have a light now as well. Let's go fight this one. Killed instantly. Well, what do you know? One shotgun shell, that's all it took. Okay, looks like I didn't miss anything though, it's just an easier way to get around. Oh, there's someone hanging behind that- oh! There is a diary though. Maria insisted on having a huge celebration for our little girl's fifth birthday. Even my stubborn father joined us. It appears the girls have changed him, in a good way. Everything would have been perfect if it were not for Noah, Maria's father. His cold stare makes the girls uncomfortable, and the crude way he treats Maria makes me uncomfortable. If the old man thinks he can keep abusing my wife as he did when she was a child, or dares believe he can do the same with his granddaughters, he's mistaken. I will protect my wife and daughters from anyone who would seek to do them harm. Hmm. I feel like with all the trouble the dude went through to have Maria bear children, it would have been easier to just steal two babies somewhere <laughs> and pretend that they're hers. Okay. Right, this one is broken. We're in the dressing room. Uh, I need to go back to here. To 
to get whatever was behind that gate. So this, oh, I opened this. Oh, thank you. Homemade stabbing weapon capable of releasing an electric charge. Must be really powerful. Can't open it though. Okay, that was it. Totally worth coming back for a new weapon and a health kit. Okay. So now that we have the flashlight, there should be a new area we can explore that was dark before. That is downstairs. So let's see. Let's check it out. Is it? Oh shit, there's something new here. Wait, is it even this way? Oh, it's through the service area. Or is it? No, it's through the studio. Oh, it's through here. I'm just gonna ignore whatever new problem that was. So, this way? Oh, here's the... <sighs> I don't even have to have it equipped. I can just touch it. Oh god. Oh god! Ah, uh, I didn't reload it! Shit. Ah, uh, I tried to avoid it. Oh shit, I'm not gonna make it! Caution. Huh. <sighs> Are you dead too? Oh, thank God. Okay. Ugh. Uh, and this is reloaded too. Okay, great. Candles. I didn't even see these. God. Um. Hey, baby. So, this is the... Okay, I need to go the other way. something here. That doesn't sound nice. Oh, it's just you. Oh. Must have been, or maybe the shower room was locked. Is this a door? Guess not. This is a door. Don't trust this. Get the fuck out of my way! I have a shotgun! Anna and Emma may be identical twins, but their personalities are quite different. Anna is an extrovert, noisy and attentive, while Emma is quiet and distant. Some days ago, <clears throat> and after much effort, I finished making two beautiful dresses for them. It took them a single afternoon to almost completely destroy them. They, make, they came back from the forest, covered in dirt from head to toe, twigs and leaves in their hair. The dresses were torn and frayed. For a brief moment, I almost flew into a fit of rage. But I pursed my lips, and after taking a few deep breaths, explained through my tears just how much work those dresses took to make. 
Anna's eyes became misty and she babbled an apology, her eyes fixed on the floor. She seemed very regretful. On the other hand, Emma stared right at me with a clueless expression, and then for only a second a mocking grimace appeared on her face. Her cold eyes froze my heart immediately. Terrified by that expression and not knowing what else to do, I sent them to their rooms. They did not dine that night. Damn. And that's the dress. God, what a massive room. Do you want to open it? tight. How do we open this? Oh. It smells awful. Hmm. Don't know what to do with- <gasps> oh! Okay. Ah! Jesus! Fuck off, dude. Eat shit. I'm not in your mood. What did I get? Empty box. Oh. Okay. <gasps> what if we fill it with water and put it in the freezer? Get an ice block. Why not? Oh god, what is this? Something's- oh! <gasps> Floppy! How do I get there? I saw something. Hi. Oh, nice. Awful way to die. Sure is. Wait, how do I get to the other side? Oh, we're in the shower room. Uh, I just walk here, apparently. <laughs> Floppy disk. Names are written on the front. Hmm. Clip of nails. I didn't even see that. Thank you. I'm so worried I'm gonna... High pressure hydrotherapy. So worried I'm gonna run out of shotgun shells. Okay. So, am I unlocking this? Did I reload? I did. Eight shells. Okay, so I got a floppy now. Should we go back to the computer? It's through the studio again. God, God bless this flashlight. It's amazing. What is this monstrosity that we- Oh god! Oh god, there's one in the back too. And it's coming. Don't bother getting up. Okay. Run! Run! Yeah, eat shit. I'm getting better at this. Oh. Okay, I did it. Good. Perfect. Okay, now let's check out that. Oh yeah, there's a monster here too. I could maybe go through the kitchen instead. That's a closet. <laughs> Where is the kitchen? Oh, it's up the stairs. Please, no monsters. Okay. This is where I need it to be, right? Oh, the 
That lamp scared me. Uh... Ah, ha, 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 ha. Did I get him? I did. Wow. Okay, this is going well. Where's the computer? Wasn't it here? Yeah. Insert disk to write new keyword. Press write a new keyword. Can I write anything? Goober. Right protected. Isn't it? Isn't that it? Oh! Three plus six minus nine. Wait, zero? Oh, here. Should I just write zero? Okay. I don't know if that will do it. Or if that's what I'm supposed to do, but... Hey. But that might be it. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna try. So that disc was to get into the bedroom. Okay, I definitely want to save though. I cleared out so many enemies without getting hit. Need to save this section. Plus I have enough discs, you know? Okay. No story time. Oh, I know... Now I understand why she kept saying, like, there's no running water here. Um... Because if we need water to freeze for the mold... Hmm... There's another one. Ooh. Where you at? Okay, I think he's coming. Okay. Um What was I doing? Uh upstairs. See if this floppy works now. I don't know if zero was like the solution or anything. I don't know why that would even be on the floppy. Scratch behind the back. Um, here. So it needs to be... Oh! 3 plus 6 minus 9. Lomar, Tissue... Tissue. Lomar, Tisha, and Lois? So... 
low mar minus low from Lois is mar and then Martha and then the is from Tisha is Martha that's the code okay let me rewrite it Martha here I come this has to be it right Yeah, access granted. Woohoo! I did it! Nice music. But there is a dude here. Nice music continues. A vinyl record. Hmm. Oh, save icon. Nice. Save icon. Diary. I'm expecting. William is hopeful, but is more measured and demure than last time. He hired a maid to serve me, and she has not left my side. At first, I did not like the idea, but Anna and I have become good friends during these months together. She's almost my age and shares my shares a love for art. On some afternoons, we talk for hours about famous artists, poetry, paintings, and sculptures. I feel a little guilty. I could never talk about such things with William. Of course, I never care too much about the only subject he loves to discuss, medicine. Uh, that's the same, right? Okay. What? It says gap down there. Cotton, nah. Couldn't possibly be referring to me. It's just a coincidence, probably. Okay, penthouse. Ooh. Okay, so this is kind of like a hallway structure. Oh god. <gasps> what? New enemy? You're eating a face! What the fuck are you? Oh! <gasps> oh god, oh god, oh god. Or should I try this one? I think this is like the big guns? I don't know if this does anything. I don't know what I'm doing. I keep doing this. I'm just gonna keep doing this as long as you're stuck there. I'm happy. My god, you're strong. Are you fucking kidding me? How strong are you? Are oh, you in a corner? <sighs> I don't know. They're not going down. I'm, I feel like I'm wasting all of my ammo. Got oh, the music too. Uh. 
Oh, Jesus, that was close. Children's room. I couldn't beat them. Holy shit. Do you think they're unbeatable? I might have wasted a ton of ammo now. We fled the mansion, making as little noise as possible. We went to the port down the hill. Mother was agitated. She was having trouble breathing, and huge blisters were appearing on her skin. We were halfway over the old wooden bridge, 65 feet above the river, when men wearing those awful suits appeared from behind the trees each side. Wait, what if you made your mother sick? Like, what if you were, like, radioactive or something? Mother held my sister and me between her arms as we inched closer to the railings. The men approached us slowly as the bridge started to moan and crack. Mother pushed us closer and closer to the barrier. One of the planks broke and my sister screamed and fell over. I caught her by her arm but wasn't strong enough to hold her for too long. She fell. I couldn't do anything to stop it. Mother didn't have any time to react and lost her footing too. The men grabbed us and took us to Grandfather Noah. Mother looked worse with each passing second. Grandfather had me thrown inside a locked cell. He told me that no one would hear me, no matter how much I screamed. He also said that since my sister had died, I was of no use because he needed both of us to open the vault's entrance. After he walked away, I was left alone, locked inside a cell with a single candle to provide light. I screamed and cried until I was exhausted. These may be the last words I will write. I am so- I'm sure I'll die here. Why did all this happen? I wish you were here, father. Hmm. We fled the mansion, making as little noise as possible. We went to the port down the hill. Oh yeah, that's, that was it since the start. So, the mother, mother ran with the kids, but then they were caught anyway. Oh god, this is a dead end. I have to get back to the dude. I don't know where he went. Ooh! Must be for a puzzle or something. Photo of a metallic door. Have I been here before? Yeah, it looks like it. Is that the first time we went through the... Mirror? I returned to the restroom where I left the subject and found she had escaped. How could I be so reckless? I have no more test subjects, and since everyone has relocated to the new hospital, acquiring new subjects is complicated. I will not wait any longer. I cannot stand by seeing her in that state because of me and my ego. I will proceed to administer Maria with the antidote. I have injected Maria with the antidote. At first her body began convulsing and she released a deafening shriek. It lasted only a few seconds, after which everything went back to silence as she collapsed into bed. It was her, her skin, her hair, her eyes looking at me, completely lucid. When she moved her lips weakly to say something, I stepped closer to listen. What she said, said stopped my heart. William, my father has taken the girls. I stepped away, perplexed, her eyes slowly closed and a pleasant sm Please smile spread across her face. Did she wait all this time trapped inside that thing to tell me this? Her life has finally ended. Rest in peace, my love. The unspeakable things I will do to you have no name, Noah. Once you tell me what you did to my girls, you will beg me to take your life. This is odd. I don't feel well at all. My heartbeat has accelerated. My mouth is dry. My eyes are cloudy. My throat is tight. These symptoms. Someone has poisoned my wine. Ah. The body's still warm. He was probably alive just hours ago. What's going on here? So William poisoned the the grandfather poisoned the dad. Oh, you need an eyeball? Mm -hmm. 
Loosens rusted parts. Hmm. Oh, this is cozy, though. The blood is not that cozy, but fireplaces. Some sort of box shut tight. Hmm. You want to use the rust thing on it? Uh, it probably opens. Wait, the metal goes this way. Hmm. Can't see it. Wait, where is this? Oh, we're back in the corridor. I see. So we went through the penthouse, the office. So what did I get out of that? The rust spray. Hmm. If you were something rusty, where would you be? Oh, that door! Fuck. That door was the first time we went through a mirror. It was somewhere near... I think it might have been the maternity ward? Down this hatch? That's my guess. Um, thinking. I'm not sure if I should save. I don't remember when I last saved. I think that might be it. How many? I have five saves on me. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try that. Although I haven't saved since going through the whole penthouse thing, right? Thing with the floppy and everything. Excuse me, what? What's going on with this music? Are you kidding me? Don't scare me like that. I think it was here. If I'm correct, then holy shit. I c could be completely wrong. Oh! <gasps> shit! Fuck off, dude! Holy fuck! Uh, reload? I am not reloading for some reason. Okay. Did I get him? Wait, did I kill him? That must have been some good shit then. And look, the door! Really? That's not it? I need to force it somehow. Too rusted to move. Oh, you want it on the gears? Where else do you want the spray? Hmm. Still rusted, but it looks like it might work. Actually worked! Oh, oh my god! Wait, where does this lead? I don't know if I've been here before. Tell by their sounds now. Whoa! Hi! Holy shit! 
Grasping for the hanged dolls. Hmm. Skeleton of Sy Siamese twins joined at the head. Ah! Oh god. Thank you. Oh, there's a mirror here too. Hmm. Maybe we need to do something through this. Delivery room. Okay. I can save here. East Wing Hall. Have I not been here? Oil painting of an archangel brandishing a weapon. Wait, where am I? Have I not been here? William, they've taken the girls. Father put a sedative in my drink, but luckily I realized before swallowing it. It tricked him into believing that I was sleeping soundly, then got up and crossed the hall towards the meeting room, where I could see the light from under the door. I put my ear against the metal and could hear my father's voice intertwined with other men. Everything is ready for the ritual. The Welberg girls have been taken to the temple, said a voice I did not know. Perfect. If everything goes as planned, I will be the next leader of the Pollux sect, and together we will bring our savior back to the world, answered my father. After that, they walked in line towards the mausoleum, I must rescue my girls. If I do not come back with them, I hope you can forgive me. I know that you will do what is right. I love you. Okay. Ugh. God damn it. Uh, what do I do against that? I can't sidestep. That spit is just gonna hit me. Oil painting on a wrenching weapon. Hmm. Weapon again. Oh god, there's another one. December 16th? That's the date that we keep seeing, right? But I don't know what time. God damn it, dude. Ugh. I hate that they keep hitting me with that. Hmm. I have one regular healing item. Hmm, spear this time. Yeah. Salvation King. Is this the top of that back corridor? Yeah! Oh my god. We're at the top there. This little bit. Or this bit, actually. Oh, I see. Okay, I definitely want to save now. There we 
go. I wonder if I actually could have killed that one skin dude. Okay, what did I actually get out of that paternity room, though? Because I opened that rusty door. I went in here. I guess I unlocked this area now. I think I can go to the newborn room as it is normally. Should we have a quick peek? We killed everything anyway, so... Oh god, there he is! I was just talking about you, weirdo! I think he's like one of the... like an indestructible enemy. And he's just gonna show up every now and then and make my life miserable. I think. Okay, so now we can go here. Okay. So we have a bunch of paintings. We came out of here. So is this where the mirror took us? Yeah. Oh, it's blocked. I see. Oh, and a safe point here, actually. It doesn't It's not shown on the map. So the newborn room, we can only reach through the mirror. Hmm. Did we check everywhere in here? We came from there. And then there's these weird babies that we can't really examine. Yeah, I'm not sure what I got from this. We opened it with the rust spray, but we didn't get any new items. So I'll have to think about that. What's next? But I did- I have been recording for an hour and a half-ish again, so... I feel like that is enough progress for now. Let's see, so we, we- we've been in all the rooms here now. We've been in all these rooms. We went through the penthouse today. So we've been through all of that. We've been through all of this now. So we've been in all the rooms. We've officially been everywhere. We just need to figure out now how to get the other pieces. My guess is still that I need to find some sorts of water. And then I can make like an ice uh, version of that with the mold. Um, but other than that, maybe we need to use the floppy in that cart reader bit, but I don't know if we can use the same name. We can definitely try that though. A little note for next time, a little mental note, grab the floppy back and then see if we can use that in the basement area or down the stairs in the main hall. Now that we've been everywhere, I think that's the next step that we're gonna get out that way through the back door in the main hall, maybe? But for now, that'll do it. I hope you guys are enjoying it. It's very, very cool to play this. I'm really having a good time. So I hope, despite me being really late to this game, you guys are still enjoying me going through it. Um, and I'll see you guys soon with another part. Thanks so much for watching.